Charlie Parsons here with Frank Warren. Uh, Frank, not to be for your man, uh, just before the scorecards were read out, what was your immediate reaction after the 12 rounds? I, I agreed with the judges, give it to him. I thought he, could, he won it by one or two rounds. But it's subjective to scoring, and we're not going to be crybabies about it. Um, the judges couldn't agree. And a couple of people I've spoken to from various governing bodies, one thought that Usyk won it, another, one, another governing body thought that Tyson won it. And the bottom line of all of it is that um, the result is what it is. It was a magnificent fight. It was all what a, the greatest fight of this century, or the great, you know, the biggest fight of this century should be. It was a, it was an epic battle, very close between two warriors. And at one stage, I thought Tyson was going to stop Alexander. I mean, he was, he was really outboxing him until he got clipped. He got caught with a punch on the nose, and that troubled him a bit. He kept touching it, and I. As I said to a couple of the guys, I thought he broke his nose at the time. And then the next round, he, you know, he lost concentration. And hats off to Usyk. He came out, he caught him with a couple of really good shots. But then he shows you what Tyson's all about again. Grits his teeth, comes back into it, and did what he had to do. But um, epic fight, not take anything away from Alexander. Takes two guys to make a fight, to have a fight like that, and then entertain a crowd like that. It's something we'll all remember. And it's like going back to the Holyfield and Lennox fights and so forth. You know, they were debatable fights. And there are people, lots of people I've spoken to who Usyk win, and there are lots of people who thought Tyson win. Uh, he carried himself immaculately at the press conference. You would have shared a little moment with him one-on-one, -on -one, I'm sure. Uh, what, what was sort of, how, how is he? Obviously gutted, well, I'm sure. He's disappointed. But... I mean, he thought himself he won. He said it, had he thought he was, you know, that, that was the score, and he had known the scoring, he would have stepped it up a bit. He won the last round, and... It is what it is. You can't change anything. And, and Tyson's a, a very philosophical guy. You know, he competed in a, in, a, in, a, in a true epic fight. We know that the rematch is scheduled. That won't be something that's on Tyson's mind. But just on your side, do you, do you think we see that next, Frank? Um, that's up to him. Yeah. And as I said, he's been in training camp now for what? Since December. Six months solid. How many fighters do that? That's what he's been doing with the postponement. And... Um, he needs time out. He needs to go and spend some time with his family. Not talk about boxing. Forget about boxing. And I know Tyson very well. When he's ready, he'll phone up and he'll say what he wants to do. And whatever he wants to do, I'll, I'll wholeheartedly support him. You believe this is just another chapter in the Tyson Fury story? Well, it's been a great story. And he said himself inside there, he doesn't box for money. He's a very, very wealthy man. He boxes because he loves boxing. Frank Warren, as always, <coughs> thank you very much for your time. Excuse me. No, sorry, you're good. Man. Thank you.